Today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, which achieved great success on Kickstarter and has now sold over a quarter of a million wallets worldwide. The wallets are sleek and minimalistic, allowing you to carry everything you need without all of the clutter. My personal favourite is the Titanium Gunmetal Wallet, as I really love the smart titanium design, but there are many different designs to choose from and all wallets also come with RFID blocking, thanks to the Titanium Carbon or Aluminium Metal Plates, which will stop your car details from being stolen. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping by going to ridgewallet.com forward slash sensor gaming or by checking out the link in the description. Despite its family friendly time slot and its popularity with kids, adults and the like, The Simpsons is definitely no stranger to controversy and some at times provocative content. This has led to the show facing many restrictions in different parts of the world. Today we'll be taking a look at this and some of the ways that The Simpsons has had to be censored around the globe. One big source of issues for the show is when the family visit other countries and get into their usual hijinks. To date, the family have visited dozens of regions around the world, including Australia, the UK and Italy. However, a few of these countries really didn't appreciate the way they were made to look on the hit show. For instance, season 16's episode, Gu Gu Gai Pan, has the family travel to China to help Selma adopt a baby and is full of political nature jokes. This led to the episode being completely pulled in the country due to its critical depiction of China. The BBC writes, The episode involves the family passing through Tiananmen Square, where they see signs saying on this site in 1989, nothing happened, and later encounter a tank. Both references to the 1980s 89 Tiananmen Massacre. Homer also makes fun of Mao Zedong's embalmed body, which he likens to a little angel who killed 50 million people and poses as a Buddha to enter an orphanage. China's authorities were also unlikely to be amused at the show's portrayal of Tibet Town, an area in Chinatown surrounded by barbed wire, or the fact that Lisa Simpson is also known as a supporter of the Free Tibet movement. In fact, in 2006, China banned all foreign cartoons from appearing on the mainland's primetime television between 5 pm and 8pm. As reported by the South China Morning Post and others, this was speculated to be an attempt to stop people from watching The Simpsons due to its coverage of controversial topics. Moving things eastward to Japan, where two episodes have been pulled in the country, and the first of these was again due to its controversial depiction of the country it aired in. Season 10's 30 Minutes Over Tokyo sees the family visit Tokyo and causing their usual brand of chaos and mayhem, including Homer tossing the Emperor of Japan across the room into a box full of sumo thongs. Due to this, the episode has not only never been aired in Japan, but it's also completely skipped in the DVD releases too. Season 11's Little Big Mum also has been completely pulled in the country, and this was due to its depiction of leprosy, which can be a sensitive social issue in Japan. In the episode, Lisa pulls a prank on Homer and Bart whilst they are asleep, painting them with green paint, and making them believe they have leprosy. According to Shari Ross Alterek, who wrote her doctoral dissertation on the adaption of US television in foreign markets, the episode was pulled due to former segregation laws remaining a sensitive topic in Japan, where litigation of leprosy cases and charges of human rights abuses by the Japanese government have ensued. Like 30 Minutes Over Tokyo, you will also not be able to find this episode on the Japanese DVD releases either. The Simpsons family have also visited Brazil, with season 13's Blame It on Lisa revolving around Lisa sponsoring a poor Brazilian child and the family going to Rio de Janeiro to track him down. In this episode, Bart is swallowed by a boa constrictor the city's police are depicted as lazy, Brazilian men as bisexual, and rats and ferocious monkeys roam the streets. Homer then gets kidnapped by an unlicensed taxi driver before he and Bart are robbed by children. The Rio de Janeiro tourist board did not appreciate the way the city was made to look and planned on suing the show. They stated that they had recently spent $18 million to try and attract tourists and now all of that was ruined. Even Brazil's president stepped in, saying that the episodes brought a distorted vision of Brazilian reality. Despite the show's creators making a public apology, the episode would be banned from airing after only being shown a couple of times, and it would take until 2012 for it to ever air again. It's not just the family visiting other countries that can lead to problems though. In 2017, the episode Looking for Mr. Goodbart from season 28 was pulled in Russia, and this was due to a controversial segment involving Pokemon Get. Pokemon Get is the Simpsons universe's spoof on Pokemon Go, and the episode sees Homer wandering into a church to catch 
Pokemon on the mobile app. This would end up mirroring real life events a bit too closely in Russia though, with a Russian vlogger recently being arrested for doing the same thing. The vlogger would eventually be found guilty of inciting religious hatred and handed a three and a half year suspended sentence. Due to the similarities to these real life events, the Russian Orthodox Church complained and got the episode banned in the country. Another cause for trouble in some countries is due to the time slot that the show airs. Some episodes, such as the show's popular True House of Horror episodes, can be pretty gruesome at times, and this can lead to issues with earlier time slots. In 2017, True House of Horror 27 wasn't aired in New Zealand, despite it being the show's milestone 600th episode. This is something that went on to make headlines in the country, and it was said to be due to the show being aired at 7pm, a time that was felt to be too early for the episode's cartoon violence. Despite numerous regions having to have cuts to some episodes due to its early time slot, one of the strictest for these types of edits is the UK, which has censored or even completely pulled dozens of episodes over the years. These edits are so frequent, in fact, that sites like TV Tropes have a whole section devoted to just the UK edits, something that no other region has. The UK also got a special VHS and DVD release called Too Hot for TV, containing uncut episodes of True House of Horror 9, Natural Born Kisses, Grandpa vs Sexual Inadequacy, and The Cottage Family. All of these episodes suffered censorship in the UK due to either their violent or sexual nature. The Cartridge Family, for instance, is an episode based around Homer buying a gun following a wild soccer riot tearing up Springfield. The UK TV networks had major issues with the way guns were used in a comical and positive light, as well as the soccer riot at the start. Scared of people being encouraged by the show, the episode was pulled from UK TV for many years. Later, the episode would finally air in the UK, but with the ending changed. As The Simpsons Wikia explains, the end scene of Marge trying to throw out the gun but stopping when she realised it makes her look cool was edited, making it seem that Marge got rid of the gun off screen. Yet the edit ruins the explanation of why she is walking like a femme fatale when she exited the motel. By far the region to get the biggest changes to the show though is the Middle East. Here's a news clip from ABC News which talks about the Arabic version of The Simpsons. The Simpsons might not be the first show you'd introduce to the Arab world with its constant references to things forbidden by the Quran, such as beer and bacon. But Arab satellite network NBC has done just that, introducing The Simpsons, now called Al Shamshun, just in time for the Muslim holiday of Ramadan. With Omar instead of Homer and Badr substituting for Bart, the network hopes to attract coveted younger viewers. After all, 60% of the Arab world is 20 years old or younger. I think The Simpsons will open new horizons for us to the future. But with the show This American, Arab media experts say it's not enough to just translate the language. After all, The Simpsons has characters who are Jewish. My father was a rabbi. Hindu. By the many arms of Vishnu, I swear it is a lie. And Christian. Mm, just about everything is a sin. You ever <laughs> sat down and read this thing? So NBC is making some changes as the characters go from American Lisa refuses to, to Arabic. Lisa Homer's ubiquitous duff beer will now be soda. Donuts will be Arab pastries called cake. This image of Homer eating pork rinds was deleted. The executive producer of The American Simpsons says those changes mean they are not The Simpsons anymore. If he doesn't drink and eat bacon and, you know, generally act like a pig, which I know is also against Islam, then I don't think it's Homer. <laughs> and some on the Arab street agree. It's different. We are totally different culture. So you can't be talking about the same subject and in the same way. One thing that didn't change? Omar Shamshun does say, Dope! Jake Tapper, ABC News, Washington. This vision of The Simpsons launched in 2005, and despite the large amount of effort that was poured into it, and even getting some of the biggest Middle Eastern movie stars to voice characters, Al Shamshun performed extremely poorly. This led to the show being cancelled after only 34 episodes. That doesn't mean you can't still watch The Simpsons in the Middle East though. In this region exists a subtitled version, albeit with some slight edits. But that's all we have time for for today, but please let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos on The Simpsons. Perhaps next 
time we can take a closer look at the Arabic version of the show, or maybe even taking a look at some of the ways The Simpsons has had to be turned down in its home country of the United States. If videos like this on regional and cultural differences are something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel and until next time, thank you for watching.